All right, what, what you got here? This is supposed to be the skull of Adam. Adam? The first man. Remember, Yeshua was regarded as the second Adam. So the second Adam was crucified on the same spot where the first Adam was buried. That's why they call it Golgotha, the mountain of the skull. If you look at the disc behind their heads, anytime, see that is an omnibus that represents the sun. Mm, mm, mm. So remember, all of the Roman Empire, they were pagans, correct? Yes. So how did they believe the message of Yeshua? Because inside of this Greco-Roman theological fabrication of someone called Jesus, nobody could have been called Jesus 2,000 years ago. The J wasn't introduced into the English language until the 13th century. There was no Jordan, it was Jordan, it was no Jerusalem, it was Jerusalem, it was no Jacob, it was Yaakov. Okay? So, we, there was no John, it was Yochanan. Yochanan. All right? So, we have to understand that in order for pagans to follow this so called Christianity, they had to put pagan festivals inside of the religious tradition. Come on here. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They had to put, so they were already celebrating the birthday of Sol Invictus on December 25th, before the, the birth of Yeshua. So now the Roman Catholics say, okay, let's establish Sabbath day on Sunday at the Nicaea Conference in about 438 AD, they had that Nicaean Conference and that's where they established, took the Sabbath off the Sabbath day and put it on Sunday, which was the day that they were worshiping the sun anyway. Constantine, who built this church, was the high priest of the religion called Zoroastrianism. Are we clear? Yes. So, the next picture shows his body being laid on the slab yeah. and his body being prepared for burial right. with myrrh, frankincense, whatever. They say this is the slab that they put his body on. This slab came from Italy in the beginning of the 19th century. <laughs> this is not the slab that they laid his body on. They're all kneeling down over there. So they um, putting Olive oil on the stone, candles on the stone, they kiss the stone. Wow. All people from all over the world come and give homage and reverence this place. The third picture on the mural is a picture of them putting him in the sepulchre or the tomb. 